All right, everyone, a uh, quick video for you today. Uh, this one is to quickly cover how you might be using Unreal wrong. And importantly, uh, using the ever uh, huge utility of print string. I wanted to show real fast on uh, the setup of, you're probably setting this up wrong, especially when you're actually doing some more uh, than just some basic debugging. So the very basic example of this, let's do like a left mouse button input, uh, put that in here. Let's change this and be like uh, left mouse button pressed. Hey, that's awesome. All right, compile, save, and then jump into game. Uh, left mouse button pressed, you can see there up at the top left, hey, that's awesome. So anytime that you know, you're, you're doing a, a sort of debug input, that's great. But uh, things get pretty complicated pretty fast, and you might be noticing this when uh, you want to do a little bit more uh, complex debugging, right? So let's say I want to know, you know, the specific name of the, the pawn or the actor or whatever that has actually done this, right? So I can, I can do, like, get display name, right, of the, the person. So let's just uh, point to reference self. Uh, all right, well, I need to plug this in. Well, all right, you might have figured out, hey, you know, I could just do like an append string, and that's what I've used, you know, for so many years. That's actually pretty awesome. So, like, I don't know, append string, space, colon, uh, press left mouse button. Yay! Well, okay, that cool, that works, you know. Yeah, let's uh, clean this up for those that like nice and neat. All right, good enough. Uh, and then jump into game and you can see hey, you know play a uh, third person character C0 Which is just you know your uh, basic character press left mouse button. All right. That's awesome uh, Well, let's further complicate this right well, let's uh, get oops, uh, Get actor location uh, Oh, okay. All right. Let's add that in well now. We're gonna have to kind of append this um we could do something kind of ugly and then do like a shift enter to make a new line and say like location colon and then now we have to add something else on top of that and also we have to all include like a space and then add a pin and then insert that into the pin and now this is starting to get kind of silly but this will work right so here let's jump back in the game then now hey that totally works i mean that's fine for now you can see my location you can see i press the left mouse button and now it's the you know this particular character uh let's further complicate this right so let's say instead of the left mouse button uh we do right mouse button right oh boy um how are we going to add this into here well we can uh it's just going to be kind of annoying all right well that's fine all right let's do this so let's do uh how do we do this again? We get uh, uh, da, 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 utilities. I think it's the uh, do, 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 do. which one was it again? Sorry, I haven't done this in a little bit. All right, key get display. There it is. All right, get the display name, and this isn't the enhanced input. This is the old input system, but that's okay. We're not too worried about it. This is just more so for demonstration. All right, so in order to make this happen. That's right, we have to set this as a variable. So I might speed this along. I'll speed this up in the video so you won't miss anything while I'm doing this. All right, sorry about that. I had that in the old video. Uh, okay, so now that we have a uh, key name displayed, uh, we will now want to actually display that key name that is actually displayed. Oh, okay, well, we can add that in here if we wanted to and then go like key name and then whatever and then we have to add another one. <laughs> no no so now the key name all right fine whatever uh compile save and then go here and then you know left mouse button right mouse button hey that's great well now let's uh let's say that your boss or cu customer or whoever says well i want these rearranged i don't want the key name to be below the location i want to switch these Oh, well, that's just a pain. <laughs>
<laughs> you see you see how like how frustrating a lot of this stuff can become right so like it's just like well now i need to move this stuff around so i'll put that here instead and then this here instead and then this here instead and then this is the key okay so like you can see how like this is this is now kind of unwieldy and you have to remember you know shift enter for which one goes where right so like stop doing this stop stop making your life more complicated than it has to be especially when you're like appending strings together to make you know an output of this like this is this is silly <laughs> stop doing this <laughs> um the reason why you're running into this is because there's no like format of of a of a string instead so instead of doing all this right you don't need to do all this you can actually use print text hey well what does that do versus print string the thing that it does is it allows you to do format text and what's super cool about this is you can actually um with with the uh different brackets you can actually open up um different variables on the format text so in here like let's say uh we do player name Oop, player name close that uh and then shift enter uh let's actually let's just see what that does so player name that actually opens up a wild card for you to actually uh, plug whatever you want in so here let's like copy that in player name is that uh so let's say and then on top of that player name uh space pressed um colon or let's let's do it the same way that we set it up before shift enter pressed and then here we can say uh open bracket key close that and you can see that key just opened up hey that's awesome so now I can take the same thing, and since this is also a text, actually I created it as a text, didn't create it as a string, directly in as a string. Oh, since it is a wild card, this will format down whatever input you're actually getting it. So the same thing with uh, get actor location too. Like let's take it directly. We don't even have to do like a, a string conversion, right? Uh, so it included in there, uh, pressed key, whatever. Uh, just clean that up, and then location. Uh, colon or whatever uh, and then do the same thing uh, location there you go so now I just created the location wildcard and I can input into that well look at that so it says uh, format argument may only include or may only be byte integer int float double blah 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 you can read the rest of that so yes okay vec3 i was incorrect my bad sorry so you can just do two string and then you could do two string vector and there you go that will work or you could do like two uh this should work for, uh two text i think yes all right cool and then that works too but uh, apparently now it's a string input so let's fix that so yeah to text if you wanted to keep everything as text or it doesn't really matter it will it will respond now let's say Let's change this to print text instead. Compile, save, and voila, look at that. Isn't that so much easier than doing these crazy append uh, over and over again? Don't, don't, don't do this. Do this. <laughs> All right, good luck developers. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.